Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimostech. Today I'm going to show you the new installation of Windows 10 Creators Update. In this installation, after the first initial installation, which is regular, as you can see, I already started it, but it as regular as usual, but after the reboot, when you are supposed to configure your settings like keyboard layout, languages, etc., uh, it will actually activate Cortana during the installation and you will be able to talk to Cortana instead of using your hands or mouse or keyboard. So basically it's a almost hands-free installation. Um, almost actually asking the computer to install itself, sort of. So that's what I'm going to show you here in this video. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro, let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to the US. Want to stick with that? Okay. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. All right, you're connected. Now we'll check for any updates. Will you be signing into this PC using a personal account or one from your work or school? A personal account. Okay, for some reason stop listening. Now, obviously it cannot, uh, you know, uh, write all the username and stuff. Although, I think it would be cool if it would do that. Now, uh, I don't think we have... Okay, let's try offline account. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. Okay, let's type my name just for, you know what, let's type Demostack, because... That's what we do here. Okay, now type a password for your account. Well, <laughs> that's gonna be a basic one for now, but as you can see, not all the settings are voice uh, controlled, but yeah, at least some of them, at least most. And one more time to make sure we've got it right. Great, now with an offline account, if you forget your password, the only way to retrieve it is with a hint, so make sure it's memorable. Well, as you can see, at least it talks to you, so it's, it's nice. It's important that your password hint doesn't contain your password. That kind of defeats yeah. the purpose, really. Go ahead and pick another hint. Well, at least she's funny, sort of. So, let's do, I don't know, just a question mark or whatever. Hey, look! It's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Yeah, sure. Yes? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them, and select Accept when you're ready. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> this is basically the part that you actually want to disable as much as you can. 
Uh, no, here I'll disable everything just because it's a test, so I don't care. But to be honest, I think some of those, for example, speech recognition, I think I would leave it on. Uh, maybe diagnostics? Nah, probably not. Anyway, let's go ahead. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. It looks like uh, Cortana pretty much finished, and all the settings are finished. Uh, and now it just does uh, its job to configure your Windows, your profile, and etc. Um, basically, that's pretty much it, what uh, is changed here. Uh, so, now you can talk to Cortana while you actually install Windows. I wonder if you actually can... Nah, I won't try it, because it will trigger my other computer and probably the real machine as well. Basically, I wanted to call uh, Cortana and uh, ask her to do something, but obviously uh, it won't be a good idea. Uh, but that's a pretty cool feature they added. Uh, basically, creators update should bring uh, more cool stuff, but to be honest, I didn't see anything that much of the use and interesting on that update, except maybe gaming mode and stuff like that, but uh, it's still new, so we'll have to check it out and we'll see. Uh, now, on my, other la on my laptop I actually uh, in the Insider Preview mod, so I should get uh, some updates pr pretty much soon, at least faster than the others, and uh, see what's going on there. Uh, as you can see, it's almost finished here, and I believe that uh, this is where we'll uh, end this video. So guys, you know what to do, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, comment whatever you like to see more, uh, any questions you have, you can also always send to uh, the email questions at demostech.net, uh, which will obviously be in the description, and don't forget to subscribe, and when you do, don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll receive a future video updates. And as always, see you in the next one!